Some people believe that Mr. Walt Disney was into minors. This person wrote, he wrote stories about women and children being harmed by grown men. He's the biggest P word Hollywood has ever known. Here's kind of an urban legend which leads to Walt Disney's death. He died in 1966. Many people have come forward hinting that he was this type of person. Among those was President Reagan's first wife, Jane, and Disney's biggest star, Bobby Driscoll. But never during his lifetime was Walt Disney ever openly accused of horrendous acts. Was this because he was an innocent man whose enemies and those jealous of his success saw his death as the perfect opportunity to slander him? Or did people stay silent because they were too scared? Which, if you guys watched part one, I would be very scared of Walt Disney, so I don't know if I would cross him. Perhaps the truth lies in the last words of Walt Disney. As he laid in his deathbed, dying from lung cancer, unable to speak, he used a pen and paper to communicate. His last words, the words he ever wrote, was Kurt Russell, who was a 15-year-old child actor who signed a contract with Disney. In 2007, in an interview, he admitted that he had seen his name written by Mr. Disney's dying hand, but he didn't know what to make of it. No doubt those who hear of this legend will make of it what they will. Walt Disney's final words, written rather than spoken, were Kurt Russell. Walt wrote the actor's name down on a piece of paper, before passing away of lung cancer in 1966. At the time, Kurt Russell was a child actor who had just signed a 10-year contract with Disney. No one, including the actor himself, have any idea why. Now, I told you guys in the first part of our Disney coverage that we would be talking about the theories of people trafficked, killed, and buried on the Disney Golden Oaks Ranch. Now, this is a conspiracy, but it's well reported on. Actually, Walt Disney allegedly hid two bodies, and a celebrity insider claims that they know about this. An infamous celebrity gossip blogger identified Walt Disney as being the subject of a disturbing blind item he posted in June. We talk about Enti Lawyer and his site crazy days and nights a lot on this channel because he is an influential celebrity gossip blogger and he's actually been able to reveal a lot through his blind items so when he releases something people listen the lengthy and unsettling allegations were posted in october 2023 but it wasn't until the blog revealed on january 1st that it was walt disney they refer to disney as a dead a-lister known for being sweet and kind and family friendly but Inti claims the man behind mickey mouse has a dark side Although Mr. Disney claimed that he rarely drank, the blind item accuses the animator of getting violently drunk at frequent extravagant parties. Here's a little bit of that blind item. It is called the burial ground. You would think after so many years that someone would have just dug up the bones and disposed of them far, far away from the ground itself so no one could tie the unalivings to the unalive A-plus lister, Walt Disney. You would have to go back a long way for the beginning of this one. The office parties at the company were legendary. When the head guy is an alcoholic womanizer who hates his wife, Lillian Disney, parties at the office are going to be big. They always involve secretaries who worked at the company and were hired for their willingness to sleep with male employees. They were encouraged to bring female friends to the parties and were paid bonuses or given vacation time if the friends they brought ended up sleeping with one of the male co-workers. The head guy is known for being sweet and kind and family friendly. Instead, when he was drinking, he was a monster, and especially so to any woman who would displeased him while drunk. If you look back at old film of him, you can see him smexually harassing women all the time and groping them. And that was the stuff that was sent out publicly, so you can imagine what he was like in private and drunk. What's most disturbing about this blind item, I mean, a lot of that we kind of knew from part one. He hates women, he hates people, he is a nasty drunk. But we hear a different much more violent side of Mr. Walt Disney. The blind item accuses him and his cohorts of hiding the bodies of two women who died under suspicious circumstances in a construction site that later became the Golden Oak Ranch, a 890 movie ranch near LA. Quote, no one is alive any longer who could tell you whether the two women died of an accident or drank too much or died or if they were killed. But both women had spent time with the head guy. The two women died about six months apart from each other very quickly. No one is alive any longer who can tell you whether the two women who passed away of an accident or drank too much and passed away or if they were purposely 
unalived, but both women had spent time with the head guy. The two women passed away about six months apart. The first one passed away while there was a construction going on at a new project, Disneyland, which was being built by the head guy, so they buried the body there. Six months later, the construction project had stopped, but there was a big ranch, Golden Oak Ranch, on site at a project, so they dug up the first one and buried her with the second one at the ranch. Then they stayed there for decades. Like I said, everyone who knew the story was long unalive. All we know was that the one body had been buried and then exhumed, and that one body appeared to have buried, been buried only once. We wouldn't even know any of that except about five years. The ranch gave way to brand new construction, and during the excavation, the bones were found. The workers were paid to keep quiet, and the new head of the company decided to use his power and influence to have them disposed of with no questions asked. Well, if these bones were discovered, they need to be brought to justice. But of course, Disney does not want that bad press on top of everything else going on. And also, it's interesting to think that the workers were paid to keep quiet. So there could be people out there that know much more about this. I'm sure not much more. Like, you know, they probably found the bones and then were told to be quiet and paid a little bit extra to do so. Um, no questions asked. All we know is that one body had been buried and then exhumed in that one body appeared to have been buried only one and we wouldn't know that if the ranch didn't go under some new construction so i don't know if, like how they would know if they were you know buried like several times or not maybe there's someone who has this story who came to him to express it but it is a form of trafficking i guess like if you are inviting these people to your home and then paying them extra to sleep with other people and then something goes wrong and like you know essentially they are were killed and who knows what their family thought or the you know if there's anyone looking for them this feels like it needs to be like an episode of something like dug a lot deeper to figure out but i'm sure disney would do everything in their power to shut it down. We've talked about Epstein before and his troubled past on my main channel and he had his ways of getting around the system. Well, supposedly Disneyland has the same thing. This woman explains that they would call you out of a basement and then you would get a bath and you would get a dress. If your dress was yellow, you were probably going to Disneyland. She said they used color coding to make transactions safer for the traffickers and their clients. At Disneyland, there would be people doing drop-offs and pickups for kids. It's a big open area full of kids, so nobody pays attention to anyone else. They would quietly say, go over to that person, and you would slip your hand into theirs and say, I was looking for you, daddy. Then that person would move off with one two or even three of us i mean that sounds horrific that sounds like an operation and the yellow dress maybe means a little bit more than what we thought initially now just to round off on the golden oak ranch there has been a fire there that may be convenient for covering up evidence now california we have our fires but not at disney not with the money they have and not three sets of fires conveniently where these bodies would be the disney ranch had lost a few structures it consumed 300 acres so tons of fire there are over 230 firefighters there to get rid of this fire it's not clear where the fire initially started i don't think it was something with weather but disney admitted that they lost three small production set buildings that were located in the woods hmm the vast majority of our production area was untouched and the ranch remains fully open so just the areas where we have spoke about this body potentially being or bodies bodies being at but i want to hear what you guys think in the comments below i definitely think of disney differently but i've always kind of thought of them as sketchy uh, we've talked about so much nickelodeon because nickelodeon really had their boom in the 2000s but you know disney is obviously huge but in the 90s that's where a lot of this sneaky stuff was happening and i don't like it i'm not a fan of it i don't know what you guys think but i want to hear what you guys think in the comments below so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode give me your thoughts and i'll see you in a new one soon bye guys